Well, it is race day here in Horsens. The fans are absolutely flooding in. The sun is shining. It is boiling down here. The track is uh, going to be very, very dry. They're out there watching it at the moment. But this is kind of the things that you don't get to see. This is all of the fans as they head in. Now, we are, of course, in the arena that is a football arena as well, the Casa Arena. And we've put in an extra stand as well. So that stand over there, actually, we've put in just for this Speedway event. Well, of course, the fans will be wondering exactly what you're wondering. Can Magic win three years on the trot? Well, Freddie is ahead in the table as well. One point separating him and Ty, and that battle is fierce at the moment. So as the fans head in, this is also where some of the fans can come. Not all of the fans can come in here, but this is where all the pit bays are, where all of the riders are. Well, you know by now, you've seen it before, it goes in championship order. So you're just having a look in. Mechanics for Jason looking very cool with their sunglasses on, very cool and relaxed. <laughs> and uh, of course, we head down Patrick and Ty. Now we mentioned Ty with that one point difference. We've spoken to Ty today and he is very calm and relaxed. Well, everyone was so calm and relaxed, in fact, that they were queuing keepy uppies yesterday. Uh, Chris Holder, kind of skilled in the football area, actually. Quite impressive. Magic as well, quite impressive with their football skills. I know, totally not relevant, but we thought we'd check it out anyway. Okay, so this is uh, what happens pre-race. We get uh, so many fans down here. They can get so close. This is so different to any other type of motorsport as well because they can get so close to the bikes. They can really see what's going on. Now, this is, of course, uh, Bartos's pit bay. Emil, we chatted to yesterday. He actually uh, invited us uh, round for dinner with his mum, so that, that was nice. We're going to sample some of that cooking. Now, we were talking uh, about Chris and his football skills, so he's just relaxing in there at the moment with his brother, all his mechanics sitting out of the sun as well. Greg, I'm not sure where Greg is. We've not seen Greg today yet. Just spoke to Nicky as well. He's happy that he's had the four-week break. His hand uh, is looking good, happy to head into round three, feeling confident with that injury all fixed. Now, Martin Vashlik is back. Martin is back. He missed the first two rounds. He's back in business for today just spoke to him as well he said that he was disappointed that he missed the first two rounds but he's not really looking at the points not really worrying about those points he's just ready to race now our wild card is Michael Jepsen Jensen Michael had such a good speedway of nations that he's made it to in to Horsens as our wild card as always we've got our reserve riders as well we might see those tonight you don't know now we're gonna head out this way so you may as well walk with me we'll walk and talk as we head down here this is the sort of monster energy drink zone. So we'll have a, a look. This is where all of our fans can grab a can of monster, have a little drink. We'll show you where the studio is as well. So you can see this is where I'll be. So if you're watching on the telly a little bit later on from around about seven o'clock local time, then that is where I'll be. And then you may as well, oh, sorry, Nikki. Uh, we talked to Nikki earlier, we told you that. Nikki's just going over actually. May as well have a look behind the scenes. We love this. This is uh, local TV. They're just going on having a chat with Nikki. <laughs> so you get to see exactly what happens behind the scenes. It's fantastic. <laughs> now, Nikki does a lot of uh, work with them, actually, a lot of TV work. They follow him around very avidly. Of course, Nikki has not won at home before. He is looking for his first Grand Prix win at home. That's mad, isn't it? So maybe tonight's the night. Now, we'll just head up here so you can see, because this is where the fans are piling in. They sort of head around that way. This is the temporary stadium standing that we put in. So some of our fans can watch from up there. And this is the final bit. <laughs> some very, very happy Danish fans, of course, supporting the local boys. Now this is uh, where the bikes and the riders for their final trip up until they get onto the track. We'll just clear the way. The door opens, the gate opens, and then onto the track they go. So that's gonna be happening from around about seven o'clock. Of course, practice was yesterday. Everybody was looking in good form, feeling confident. So keep up to date with everything that happens throughout the night on our social media. It's Speedway GP for that. And make sure you tune into the television at 7 o'clock local time. And it's on our website if you want to see what channels you can watch according to different countries. Yeah.